Hello, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. <laughs> it's the Be Places weekly live party. Whoop, whoop. You gotta whoop, whoop with me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. whoop. <laughs> Let us know if you guys can hear us. Um, this is the first time I've set up all the devices, so hopefully I did everything correctly. A lot of technology right here. Yeah, let's do some hearts and chat if you can hear us. <laughs> Okay, so tonight uh, we are going to be showing off some cool new products. We have um, a lot of really neat new spring charms and beads. And Becky's going to be showing you guys how to kind of customize. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Kara. Uh, <laughs> Becky's going to be showing you guys how to customize them to make them your own um, so that they match your beads or your personality, um, whatever you want to do. So let's switch over to hand cam and Becky can show you some examples of um, basically <coughs> so, some parts and pieces that she's done already. And yeah. then we'll show you all the different parts and pieces that um, you can you can use. Lots of cool stuff right here on the table that you're about to see. Yeah. All right. We are there. Hello. Hello. It's my pretty Band-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> we got these new pewter charms in. They are brand new. Aren't they cute? So we have a heart and there is a fly and a flower. And I made it into a pansy. We're going to call it a pansy because I painted it purple. Sorry, guys. Let me just pull this over real quick because I realized that we shifted a little. There we go. That's <clears throat> better. So that's my favorite. And then we have a heart <laughs> sorry stacy <laughs> and we have a fly very very cute so, yeah so what are we gonna do first abby oh we're still we're still a little wonky sorry guys i thought we had you all set up the way we wanted to but all right i'm gonna move that cord out of the way becky that way that might be what's kind of weighing it down and wanting to pull okay. it Okay. I think we did it. There we go. Now we're straight. <laughs> All right. And I have some, I'm going <coughs> to turn this light on real quick. That's better. Yeah, right? that's better. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's not so warm. Right. Caliente. Muy caliente. Okay. Mm. So how about I just move this tray over here and yeah. you can go through them one by one. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, do you want to tell them? <clears throat> or show them our free gift with purchase for every oh. $10 that you spend at beadplace.net tonight. You get a free enameled daisy charm. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. This is my first time seeing them. This is my first time seeing a lot of what's in this tray. A lot of cool stuff tonight. All right. There, it's a little bit self-serve now. Yeah. Do you want to start with the flower? Yeah. In yeah, this one? Um, yeah. The one that you painted purple. Yeah. So we have these. Abby, tell us about it. Um, so they are lead and nickel free pewter. They are artisan cast and um, or artisan carved and cast in the U.S. Um, they are coated with an anti tarnish coating. Becky, can you tell me the four numbers on that code? Um, it is. AP2588. Thank you. All right. And so I'm going to link that in chat for you guys. And then, Becky, if you want to do a side by side of the um, one that you painted with oh, it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So you can really customize these pieces to make them your own, or if you prefer more of like a neutral style. Um, you can, of course, keep them the way they are. And they do have an anti-tarnish coating. So they will retain their beautiful metal color. Um, the silver is an antique silver. And the gold is like a satin Hamilton or a matte finish gold. And they're beautiful. And they're large size charms. <clears throat> so they make a great small pendant size or a chunky charm. They, they yeah. definitely can go either way. They have a little bit of weight to them. They feel good. Yeah. They're really... A, a quality piece and so while Becky has these here on the screen I just kind of want to take a minute to let you guys know that 
Becky colored the part that I would not think to color first. And I know that that's a little backwards, but look at how they're bezeled. So they've got this like beautiful molten edge around them. And so you can use that almost like a frame or a bezel to fill around the flower too. You could do both. You could do either the flower or the background, or you could do both of them together with color oh. or clay. You have done the background. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's, that's just the way my brain works. Yeah. But it, I mean, is probably like everybody's first thought to color the flower. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> um, all right, we can move on to the next one. Oh, you know, we have, ooh, this is a cute one. Oh, I love those. This is um, 2612. Thank you. Dragonflies. Oh, they're so cute. They're awesome. These are a little bit smaller. Are they dragonflies or bees? Oh, no, that's the bee. We do oh. have dragonflies in the show. Cool. Later, so I assumed that you were holding the dragonfly. Okay, yeah, these are bees. They're adorable. Oh. I'm going to slide that over. I'm going to link these guys for you. Yeah, so wouldn't it be cute to um, do like a black line on just the little body of the gold bee? I just think that that would be stunning. Just a way to provide a little bit of contrast. Or you could use watered down black paint and kind of highlight the ridges in the eye. Or not the, the, eye, the wing. Mm -hmm. And then you could highlight the eyes as well. Karen says, what are they colored with? I'm sure we'll get to it later. We will, yeah. yeah. So Becky did acrylic paint on these, and we're going to talk to you a couple, well, not these, but the ones that we showed that were colored earlier. These are actual gold plate and silver plate over here. Um, but we're going to talk about some of the different options that you can use to personalize these pieces a little bit later in the stream. And Becky, you are good to move on to the next one. You can go at your own pace. Just okay. whenever I'm Okay. Done random. Ooh, next we have hearts. So these are cute. Number two five nine eight. Thank you. Is the heart. And again, here's the one that I painted. Yeah, and it's so funny that Becky did the background on this one. Yeah. And this is the one that I would have done the middle on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cool thing about it, that you can do whatever you want. Yeah, so this is our organic heart charm, um, and um, guys, all of these you can order in like retail individual quantities, or you can buy them in our books, like our mini bulk packs, um, and they're discounted prices when you buy them in the packs of six, um, but they are a, a really quality piece, and they make a statement on their own, so... I, I feel like they would be great just on a chain and it's a work of art by itself. But you can also just kind of like get creative and add a bunch of them to create a charm bracelet. Whatever you want to do. These hearts would be a good best friend gift. They would. Well, you're moving on to that next one. I'm going to take a minute to share the screen because I did not get a chance to do that before we got started. Yeah. And while you guys are watching at home, if you <clears throat> wouldn't mind um, parting this video on Facebook or um, giving it a thumbs up on YouTube um, and subscribe also if you're watching on YouTube. How cute those are. Oh my goodness. Those are sweet. So the butterfly is number 2587. Two, They're cute. It's my first time seeing these. They're darling, aren't they? Maybe we'll paint one of these later. They're really just like organic looking. And that's what I love about yeah. this um, yeah. particular artist. Um, they do really great kind of like I don't want to say primitive because they're very detailed, but they're very organic in style. <clears throat> kind of a boho. I mean, it's kind of rustic. Yeah, rustic. The way it's not, work. like, perfect on the edge, mm -hmm. but you can tell it's, like, classy, too. Yeah, it's artisan-made, and you can tell that it's artisan-made. So I'm going to link that in chat. I just took a minute to share the stream to one of our groups. So I'm going to link this one here for you. And this is another one that you can kind of utilize that bezel background. The screen just got darker. It might be the angle of your hand. 
I don't know. Oh, let us know in chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys see this? <laughs> okay, let's yeah. move on to the next one. Right. Let's see. Oh, here's the dragonfly. Dragonfly number 2613. 2613. And guys, you can type these. Like, if for some reason you're watching on uh, after the fact and this, the comments are not live, um, or if you're watching on an app where links are not working, or on a, yeah, on an app where links are not working, you can just type these short codes into the search bar on our website, which is beadplace.net, um, and it will bring it right up. This dragonfly is super cute. It's a very kind of like whimsical dragonfly. <clears throat> Don't you think? It is. It's cute. I just wanted to point out something. Some of these charms have the forward facing veil on there. And some of them like this one are like sideways. So like this one, you wouldn't need a jump ring necessarily if you wanted to put it on something. But this one you might. Yeah, that's so a good tip. I think it's neat how they're all just different. So yeah. are those cute? Very cute. Yeah. Yeah, I love <clears> that little whimsical sideways <coughs> looking dragonfly. So this one, number two, three, four, one, we have in four colors seashells. My mom would like these. I was just talking about my mom today. Um, do I have two? Yes, I do. There we go. So we have the brass. Copper, gold, silver. They are so sweet. Scallop seashell, yeah. Yeah, and so Becky is showing you the front of the charm, but I also want to show you guys the back of the charm as well because you can hide a picture in there or fill it with a little miniature painting or if you're good at polymer clay, you can stick some polymer clay pieces in there. You can put two of them kind of like back to back on a jump ring and it will operate kind of like a locket that you can open and close uh, oh. to display pictures. That's Becky's good, yeah. got a product called Diamond Glaze that I'm going to ask to uh, show on screen if you don't mind. I'm going to link that. This is a great kind of beginner friendly product for um, using pictures in your jewelry designs. You can print off using like a, a laser printer. You can print off a picture, make it the right size. Um, Canva is a great app to edit your pictures. Um, and then you can just do a um, coating of tape over your picture to waterproof it. Um, and then you can stick it down with diamond glaze and create um, like a, a personalized, um, it could be like a memorial thing if somebody yeah. you love that has passed on is... Um, a fan of the beach, or um, you could do pictures of your kids in there, or a vacation photo. I just think that would be really cool. Yeah. And we carry the diamond glaze in two different sizes, don't oh, we? Oh, we do. I only linked the big size, but let me link the small size. Too. Yeah. In case you just want a little bit of it. Yeah. But yeah, the you mini, can use it for a ton of stuff, though. Yeah, the mini is, I think, like $4.35, it's $4 and it's 10 milliliters, so it's good for, like, three or four <clears> small <throat> projects. And this um, is the two-ounce size. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Melanie. But, yeah, if you, hey, if you just want to use the charms as charms and not even do anything with them, they're beautiful as is. But wouldn't it be cool to put some, like like a powder or like iridescent fingernail polish Ooh. on top of the shell. I just yes. think that would be really cool. I just bumped the camera. Sorry, guys. There's no earthquakes today. <laughs> we did have bad weather coming, but I think it has passed it's us clearing, yeah. yeah. So number 2624 is little turtles. 2624. Look at that. Cute oh, little turtles. Oh, those are so sweet. And are they... They're not sea turtles. They're land turtles. Yes, so they might be tortoises. That's true. <clears throat> um, My daughter would be very quick to correct you. It's a tortoise, Mom. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Honestly, I don't know, but I know my daughter could tell you. Okay. She's super into reptiles. Let us know in chat if you know the difference between <laughs> a turtle and a tortoise. And it's okay if you have to Google it. <laughs> I know it's a sea turtle if their front 
legs point backwards and it's a land turtle if their front legs point forwards. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah. But this one would be really fun to do each of the little segments on the shell a different color. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that be fun? You could do like a checkerboard turtle. Oh my goodness. You have to use your itty bitty. Um, I brought some tiny brushes like, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I got some tiny brushes. Super sweet. Yeah, those are adorable. I'm going to name them. Do it. What should I name them? Like Fred and... Fred's a good name for it. Too. Fred and Shelly? I don't know. Oh, well, Shelly. Really At Thai Night Iguana, they have giant tortoises. And um, it, it's a male and female. And their names are Lisa and Frank. And I love that <laughs> because I'm a huge Lisa Frank fan. That's awesome. <laughs> Lisa and Frank. So... This one is 2589, and I'm about to link that one in chat as well. And this one is a bug. <laughs> I think it's a it's fly. A, it's a fly. <clears throat> um, Flies are like really popular. They're, they're on the rise. Flies are gonna be the big thing, I think, this spring. Flies are a, a very trendy insect. Yeah. Um, I don't know how insects can be trendy, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't make the rules. So you could do a solid color um, or you could do like the wings a different color or you could just do like a hint of like a mica coated or shimmer coat on the wings or like a iridescent kind of coating on the body or the eyes to make it kind of realistic. Um, but just to give you a little bit of back info on the fly and why someone might want to wear a fly. Because to a lot of us, that's kind of obscure. Um, but the fly is a, actually a symbol of perseverance and persistence, um, which is kind of funny because once a fly gets in your house, it never goes away. He's very persistent. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's lots of, um, lots of different uh, schools of thought about flies and their symbolism. Um, but it is also a symbol of transformation as well. Um, and the, just like the connectivity to the world around you uh, nice. and your participation in the world around you as well. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I did not know that. Yep, yep, yep. Getting educational on us today. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There are two more charms before we get to some other stuff here. Yeah. So number 2606. <clears throat> it's these little flowers they are very cute yeah so these aren't like all on one background like the other ones are these are actually like you can see better from the back side probably separate petals like these are, these are like real flowers yeah they're like 3d cut out yeah. flowers and they're they are cool. like curved it's not just like a, a stamping they are curved and dimensional flowers Hey, yeah. Jenny. Jenny says, howdy, friends. Greetings from sunny Florida. Hi, well, Jenny. Jenny, we just showed off the seashells, so you missed it. But you've got your own seashells to look at, I'm sure. <laughs> There's a seashell. <laughs> yeah, better bring us back some seashells. <laughs> um, so these charms are um, very similar to some earring findings that we're going to be showing you in a minute. So just keep this page bookmarked. Um, if you are a fan of flowers because uh, they do kind of coincide or correspond or correlate to coordinate coordinate with <laughs> um, some of the earrings that we're going to be showing you in a sec. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Alex. Look, we we started off mm. rocky, but we got there. We're we here. did it. We did it. I need to pay attention to where the cords are because they tend to make the camera shift. So that's a lesson that I learned. Normally, Alex, uh, this guy here, um, normally he is here to plug everything in the right way. He says, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Well, Abby did it. You helped. So this is 2608. Is that correct? Mm, yes. Cool. So this is another flower. Um, and this one is a little bit more of a, I don't know, what would you call it? Like a more, not wilted, but like there's fewer petals. So yeah. it ends up looking a little bit more primitive and rugged. I don't know. I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what kind of flower it is. 
but I know that there are four petals and you could also use it backwards like, like a it. shamrock. I like it backwards. <laughs> yeah. But they do have a nice, oh, it does look like a dogwood. Yeah. So yeah. Sandy Williams says it looks like a dogwood. Thanks, Sandy. So these flowers work really well together. They are kind of different from each other enough that you can stack them and layer them and it doesn't look repetitive. And so Becky is going to show you our kind of like wild earring finding. Um, and this is two, five, nine, zero. Yes. Okay. You hear that thunder? Getting rowdy outside. It is. Bunch of hullabaloo going on out there. So this is our sculptural flower puss earring that has the hoop. Um, and so it is very similar to the 2606 flower. It is the same casting, only slightly smaller. Um, and then it has a hoop on it. And then Becky, if you wouldn't mind showing off the earrings that we demonstrated. Yeah. Um, So that's kind of an example for how to use them. So we do have them available in both silver and gold. And the gold is such a soft look. It's very kind of like different than the silver. Oh, so okay. Yeah, that I one. thought it was a different pair of earrings. Nope. Yeah. It's so separated so they don't tangle. Got to keep them separated. And then I'll grab this one for you. There you go. Oh, there's an example of this one too. Look yeah. at that. Um, there you go. Put this on in my hand too. Huh? Put the, both the earrings in my hand. Oh, so you, so that they're. <laughs> I need three hands so I can show you guys everything all at once here. I was like, it is in your hand, Becky. Both of them. <laughs> there we go. Well, I tried. Here. So there it is. Um, the sample earrings, and that's just how I chose to do them. Um, and another kind of uh, not quite as wild way to use these earrings is just with little swags of chain or you could attach tassels to them um, to kind of utilize those blanks that are in there and then we don't have them in stock yet but I am going to link just the plain or the plain flower posts um, that are without the hoop on the bottom they just have one small loop and so if you would imagine what Becky has in her hand minus the big hoop. So it's just the smaller post with the yeah. little hoop. It's a little. If you like your connection there. Yeah. So a little like, less wild. Yeah. So just like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So I know we only have a few more days left, but you might want to be lucky all year round <clears throat> instead of just on St. Patrick's Day. So we are gonna show you guys some of our um, St. Patrick's Day clover beads. And so those are pressed flower beads, or I'm sorry, pressed glass clover beads. They are um, a full strand for 6.35. Becky, do you, are you able to kind of um, yeah. lay it out and just kind of show how long? Yeah. Or not? I don't know but. if the camera will get it all. I'm guessing 10 inches. Sounds right. You get 25 beads um, and they are opaque green check glass with a gold inlay. And again, they are 10 by 19 millimeters and you get 25 beads uh, per strand for just 635. And then uh, Becky has a rainbow version of them that she's gonna show you. And they are also just 635. Check that out. Oh my gosh. They are not more expensive for the fancier <clears throat> coating. They are the same price. A friend of mine who them. doesn't even do beads saw these and they're like, oh my goodness, Becky. <laughs> yeah. And keep in mind, guys, on this um, camera, we do lose a little bit of saturation. So these colors are brighter in real life. If you want to look at the link that we just posted in chat to see what they look like, they look like Mardi Gras beads, really. They're cool. They are cool. So these are again 10 by 9 millimeter uh, rainbow iris with gold inlay check pressed beads. And they are uh, 25 per strand. 
And then next. Did we show these on stream last no, we week? We talked about them, but, but we, we didn't show them. them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, these oh, are these it. are adorable. Yeah, these have been really popular. I love these. We showed these on Instagram, I think, and um, <coughs> everybody just was super in love with them because they are a um, like a warm <clears throat> red. They're almost like an orange. They're ladybugs. Yeah. So they're tomato red, pressed glass ladybug beet strand. They are nine by seven millimeters, and they are only three seventy five. Can you believe it? They are so inexpensive, and you get a bunch of them. You get. 25 beads um, and ladybugs symbolize good luck and prosperity. So those are things that I'm sure we wouldn't mind having. No. <laughs> Speaking of luck. And they're also a symbol of um, spring. So they're cute. We thought they were perfect to include here. <laughs> they are very cute. And they're just, they glow almost. <coughs> I don't know if I added those. Did I add them? I hope I did. These are cute. Is Mr. Sun? Oh, no, it's Mr. Moon. moon. They're, <laughs> duh, Becky, they're white. They're moons. It's Mr. Moon. <laughs> did I, I know I did. Here they are. Um, okay, so these are also strands of 25, um, and they are nine millimeter. And they are, um, they're really dimensional. It's not just like a stamp down in to the glass. A lot of times when you see coin shaped beads, you lose the texture, but these guys have 3D cheeks and noses um, and they're they're really pretty. Very cool. kind of antique -y looking. They're neat. Um, and so you guys know that there's a ton of symbolism um, when it comes to the moon um, but just to kind of give you the basics, uh, the moon and a face on the moon uh, symbolizes nature and the passing and returning of seasons. Um, so it, it, in my opinion, is a nice kind of symbol of the winter going away and the spring popping up. So, <laughs> Cute. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of uh, it again. Sorry, ton of different symbolism. Um, mm -hmm. And you can, of course, always attach your own symbolism to the um, pieces that you are creating jewelry with. <clears throat> These are super cool. They are. And the next thing Becky's going to show you, we have already seen yeah. if you watched our Sundance or Inspired by Sundance um, stream. Are you there, Sarah? You're asking about these. <laughs> these are cool. So... I'm going to link the luster glass drops. Um, you get 10 pieces in our mix. You get two drops of five different, or two, two drops each of five different colorways. And these were a very, very hot item for our sun, uh, Inspired by Sundance stream. But I wanted to include them for this stream too, because I, when I actually, when I ordered them in, I was thinking flower petals. And then when I got them in, I was like, wow, this luster coat is incredible. They look like gemstone drops. And they reminded me of that beautiful pair of earrings by Jess Mahari on the um, picture that we showed from the Sundance catalog. But they look like mermaids to me. They do. Very kind of like magical, ethereal. Um, so they are very, very cool. Yeah. Um, but you could easily wire them together to make your own 3D flowers or you can just use them individually like we did in the pair of earrings that Becky just showed um, but there are five different colorways and when you order the mix you get 10 pieces two of each color um, and they are 12 millimeter by 10 millimeter by 6 millimeter and the whole size is approximately 0.8 millimeters so it's a pretty good size hole if you want to use thicker wire um, a lot of times briolettes or drop shapes like this have a very, very fine hole, which makes it really tricky to wire wrap them without breaking them. But these have a pretty good size hole, so you can use thicker wire. Oh, if you can see the hole, I'm trying to show you the hole. There it is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. These are so pretty. Yeah. And then I don't remember if I brought over the... Oh, here it is. I just didn't 
pass it over to you. But if this you want to give it a reddish color, oh my gosh. Closer look at this when you're done. Because those are the earring findings that are on the. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so here's the earring findings the that were on our sample. Check that out. So there's that. And they come in all four metal colors. Not all the charms that we showed tonight come in all four metal colors, but the earring findings do and the shells do. And then keep in mind, they can all be customized um, using the methods that Becky is going to show you in just a few. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. Yeah. Make the earring like blue and then the drops pink or something. Mm -hmm. You could definitely make it look like an enameled disc. I yeah. That would be super fun. So I'm going to help you clear some stuff out of your way if you want to pick a, a piece to paint on. Yeah. What are you, what are you guys wanting to see get transformed? I was Let just going to say chat. that. Let's, let's have a vote. Let's pick out two things and we'll have a vote of what I should paint. Since chat's a little delayed, why don't you pick out one thing to start with and then... Um, we can have a vote be the second thing. Is that okay. okay? Yeah. Okay. I choose butterfly. Cute. Yeah. And then Abby, why don't you pick out two things that they can vote on? Okay. Yeah. I choose butterfly. <coughs> so I brought all my little brushes and all my stuff. Let's see. So. <clears throat> when you're doing this, you only need the teeniest, teeniest, teeniest bit of paint. Um, what color do you think for a Ooh, butterfly, Abby? Kara wants B. I'm going to throw B into the mix, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, Becky, you could not go wrong painting that butterfly. Yeah. Whatever you want. I'm going to try green. I'm going to find where I put the B. I think I'm going to try green. There it is. And maybe I'll get the black out, too, just in case. So... <clears throat> Do you need a cup of water or additional water? No. You brought it? Yeah. You're awesome. I just brought my little water thing. Just need a tiniest bit of water. Very cool. Yeah. So um, I am going to just put a little bitty paint out here. Just need a tiniest bit. That is way too much. <laughs> um, tonight I'm using acrylic paints by Hippie Crafter. They are pretty cool. They give you a nice shine. That's and, good. Yeah. That is way too much also. But that's okay. At least they'll be able to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> and this is just the way I do things. You can play around and do it your own way. But what I have found is with a lot of acrylic paints for this kind of application, that since it's so tiny, you can't just glob it on because it'll look like... Globby. Globby. Yes. <laughs> um, so I make it into a watercolor paint. See, I'm just pressing just a little bit of water on there, and that is that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit, just so that I hope, hope when I do this, the light is gonna correct out, and then I'm yeah. bring it over just a little bit okay. that way. <clears throat> we'll see. Hopefully, it doesn't get super shadowy when you get your arm underneath there. Yeah. So I have a little bitty paintbrush, and also here I have um, a bunch of other pokey tools to get into all the grooves. I have like. One of these that a lot of crafters have. I don't even know what this is for. And I have um, a wooden skewer. I have Q-tips. I have all kinds of just little bitty things to get into the crevices. All right, now we're just going to start off with a little paintbrush here. Um, so to make this into a watercolor paint type thing. Give me just a second, Becky, because we are kind <clears> of <throat> dark now that we have that white underneath. It's wanting to... Okay. We're going to fix the color. if I can make this any better. There we go. That's a little better, I think. Is it better now, guys? Let us know in chat. Um, so, Kara says, I wonder if you could do it with acrylic markers or Sharpies. Yes. Yeah. You totally can. Definitely. Yeah. Because the, the paint is going to adhere, the paint or the marker, it's going to adhere to that anti-tarnish coating on the piece. Um, and then Becky's going to talk to you a little bit later about sealing it, but the seal, the sealer is what is really going to hold important. it all together. Yeah. yeah. So what I did to make that acrylic paint into a watercolor type of paint, I just took a little bit of the glob and just put it into the puddle of water that's right there. And that's that. Just make sure your brush doesn't have a ton of it on there. Um, 
So I'm just gonna just do a little bit at a time. Becky, can you tilt that away from you just a little bit? There okay. we go. Okay. I think that's better. <clears throat> and then I just have one hand right now. Can you get a YD for me? Yeah. So we're just doing a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Little bits at a time because it is tiny. And this paint is pretty pigmented. It is. It is. I like it. That's one thing about Hibbie Crafter. It is bold. It is um, very saturated, which I love. So I would imagine that you would have to kind of experiment if you're using your own paints at home um, or your own craft supplies at home. Um, you can just kind of have fun with it. And you're not limited to paints or acrylic paints. You could use nail polish. Yeah. That is a fun way to get like a thicker kind of glossy finish on it, depending on the nail polish that you use. <clears throat> um, but to get that kind of like enameled, like that soft layer, transparent layer enamel, like what Becky showed on the purple flower, this this is the way to go and i love yeah. how that paint is settling into yeah the, the grooves, grooves yeah so on the first swing over there it was getting kind of globby kind of too much for me so i just took a baby wipe and kind of dabbed at it very gently and now it's not so harsh um the thing with this is you want to do it, it's better to do like three or four little bitty layers than it is to do one big layer because it'll look it'll look more natural you know it, it just depends on what kind of look you want i mean maybe you do want the uh the glob yeah yeah, I mean, that's a difference in, like, this style and that style, you know. It's just a different look. But for the butterfly, we're going to go subtle. So I put another layer, and I just kind of barely dab at it a little bit. And uh, if you take too much on uh, off, just put a little bit more on. And just keep doing this until you're happy with it, you know. It's a lot of trial and error, but... Believe it or not, I find this calming. <laughs> this is this is soothing. I like it. Um, so I'm going to get a different brush, and I'm going to try to do the body in um, black. Let me take a dry brush and get a little bit off of the spine there. There we go. Very good. Um... So here's another little brush. I'm just going to get a little bit of this black and put it into the puddle. Make a watered down kind of a mix. There we go. And I'm going to try to do the body. Whoa. Well. That kind of went into the wrong area, didn't it? Still like it though. But um, there we go. There we go. Do the little antenna. You call them antennas. What are these things? Antenna. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you want to bring that a little closer <clears throat> to the camera and angle it. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys that this is a really fun and easy way to kind of tie your charms into like collections of seed beads. Like if you're stash busting and putting together interesting combinations of beads, um, a great way to kind of tie all those colors together is to just paint them all together on a pendant like this. So like if you um, if you normally wouldn't think to use your purple and yellow beads together, <laughs> but the shapes work well, or you're getting to the bottom of your stash and you just want to create, um, you can definitely combine different palettes together. And this, ah, don't fall in. <laughs> um, and that it just kind of helps to tie it together and kind of Bring it one step further into the land of creativity. The land of creativity. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I decided to need some pink, so 
I'm just putting a little bit of pink around the edges here. That's super fun. Um, and then when you're done, yeah, like Abby said, the important part is to seal it. <clears throat> um, and there are a variety of things you can use. Um, you can use, where'd it go? The uh, diamond glaze, like I showed earlier. Um, nail polish, Mod Podge. You know, your sealant of choice. Uh, the spray sealants are cool too. Yeah, the spray sealants might give you, like if you do a couple light layers of the spray sealant, it might give you the most like professional looking finish or um, like non-noticeable, but still very, very strong type of finish. Uh, Diamond Glaze is a water-based dimensional adhesive. So it's not quite as strong, but it's a lot more forgiving than some of the other types of sealants. The one thing that you need to make sure you're doing though is you wanna make sure that the products that you're using are friendly with each other. And so the way that you can do that is by reading the label on your sealant to make sure that it will, it doesn't make weird reactions with whatever kind of paint or art products you're using underneath it. You can test that out by painting a little bit of, um, whatever like art product you're using on a piece of garbage, <laughs> like a tin <laughs> can or something. Piece of garbage. And then spray it um, <clears throat> and make sure that there's no weird crackles or um, discoloration happening. Um, but most of your uh, retail available art products work well with one another. So. Uh, like a matte Krylon spray is perfect or like the, what is it? Like Mr. Super Clear, that stuff works well. Yeah. Um, but if that sounds like a little bit too much to get into and you're not a fan of those spray things, clear fingernail polish works well. It's probably the most available. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can get it at the dollar store even. Just know that it might yellow over time if it's not a quality product. Um, but just experiment. There we go. See how I um, so dulled pretty. the edge. The, the edges were like bright pink, like, oh my goodness. And I just took the baby wipe to it. Just dab, 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 real gentle. And now it's more subtle. Yeah, and it looks like watercolor. There you go. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Yeah. So let's take a vote of the other one that I should do. I think B was the winner. <coughs> Sarah was our only one who the B? Had, a, yeah. had an opinion on. B or flower. Yeah, let's do B. All right. Yeah. Cool. We'll do it. Gold you have the black out, so you can yeah. do the stripe idea that I have. Cool, cool. Not to sway you one way or another. <clears throat> I'm going to get out yellow just in case. Oh, that'll be cool. <clears throat> Let's see, mid yellow oh. or lemon yellow. Let's try lemon yellow. Oh, I was going to say mid, mid yellow. yellow? Well, I don't know. Opposite. Yeah. Abby likes the more calm one, and I like the brighter one, but you know. That's just that. You know, I think I did use the, the mid yellow on um, this flower here and it turned out nice. Okay. So. That's very pretty. I'll use the mid yellow. It almost looks <clears throat> like it's a metallic coating on its own when it's watered down. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way it looks. I really do. It's very pretty. <clears throat> and you don't even have to use fancy um, paint brushes. This is a makeup brush, but you know, I paint things more than I paint my face. So that's how I use them. Well, Becky's getting set up for that. I am going to drop the um, pre-order link for our I'd much rather be beating t-shirts. Um, we are about to close that on the 15th um, is when they the pre-orders close. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, I can't wait for those. Are you getting the black one? I am. I think I'm going to do the black one and the mauve one. Now, what did you want me to do with this one? I was thinking you could do a, just like a black stripe across the abdomen, but now that you have the yellow in. Like this in, way? No, like how bees are striped. Oh. <laughs> but you do what you want to do because what yeah. you're doing is a lot more exciting than what I had in mind. Oh, look how that looks. Oh, I love it. I'll do the wings in black. That's cool. I don't know if yellow is going to show up on the gold here, but we'll try. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I love about these pendants is that because they are handcrafted and the uh, originals 
are like hammered and carved. The texture is uneven, which allows for beautiful watercolor type effects on the background. So you don't have to think about getting it thicker or thinner in any of these places. It's gonna look like you've done that with intention, but because some of the spots are higher and some of the spots are lower and it looks like hammered metal, it just creates its own kind of artist-like watercolor effect How cute just with a, a swipe. That is super cute. That's adorable. I'm gonna try the yellow, but I don't even think the yellow is gonna, I think the yellow will interfere with the whole look of it, but you know, I can always wipe it off, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, if you do choose to do like that kind of bolder yellow and you want it to kind of set apart from the gold, you could always do like a faint line of black around the body. Yeah. But it doesn't need it. Yeah, you can't really tell it's there. And if you do notice it's there, it's like not the best. So we'll just scrape that just off. Just wipe them off. There you go. Yeah, acrylic paints do dry pretty fast, but baby wipes. They're your friend. Yeah. <laughs> They're your friend. But yeah, I think that's good. I think I'm just going to leave it kind of faint like that. Not like bold black or anything, but I just kind of like the kind of a hint of black there. There we go. Look at that. Pretty. I love that. Sometimes simple is better than 18 colors. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Gorgeous. Yeah. Now, one thing that I think I'm going to try whenever I have some time to let it sit for 24 hours is I would like to take one of the ones with the bezel. Um, so like the butterfly or the flower. And I think it would be really cool to do like a mosaic in it. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking I could either crush up some seed beads Ooh. or just choose really teeny tiny seed beads. And do it in the... Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. It's almost Can't like a terrazzo right effect. I think that would be super cool. That's cool. And it would take a little bit of time and a little bit of serious intention. <laughs> tweezers. Yeah. And tweezers <laughs> to place them. But just imagine like That's those so little cool, art beads or like the fingernail polish uh -huh. um, thingamabobbers um, or like the little round glittery pieces. This one would be with that. easier to probably mosaic. Oh, yeah, for sure. More open space. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So many things you can do with these. Yeah. Love it. They're such neat little pieces. Um, so we have uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys or remind you guys, uh, monthly fun packs. Uh, the cutoff to sign up for the April monthly fun pack is in two days. So I'm linking that in chat. If you don't know what our monthly fun packs <coughs> are, we have a monthly subscription box or pack or bag that we send out uh, once a month. And we pick a different theme each month. It is over $35 of retail value items, way over $35 always. Um, but if you sign up for monthly subscription, it is only $30. Um, and there's just a lot of fun stuff included in it. Um, another thing that I wanna let you guys know is that in just a couple weeks, our business turns 19. 19. So, yep. Wow. I know. It's our last year of being a, a teenager. teenager. Oh, no. Yep. But we can vote. So that's, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and buy lottery yeah. tickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, if you are not already signed up for our email list, make sure to go ahead and do that because um, we are going to be sending out a really good coupon code in a few days that you won't want to miss. And mm -hmm. we are only putting it out in the email to start. And it's the sale is on in stock items only. So if that kind of, if you catch my drift, you will, you want to shop fast, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Shop now. Um, so yeah. Yeah. That'll That'll probably be um, really exciting in store too if you're local. 
um, we'll have the in-store sale also. And then the last Saturday of this month, we are doing textured tube bracelets in store. Uh, we do a free workshop on the last Saturday of every month and um, we're doing memory wire bracelets and showing you how to texture tubes. You can check out the link for that on our Facebook page. <coughs> I am going to see if I can figure out how to switch back to us. I was just going to say that because we forgot to do something. Oh, yeah. I know I said it earlier, <laughs> but I didn't. We didn't do the thing. Yeah. So if you enjoyed watching this video, uh, please remember to like it on Facebook. No. Yeah. Like it on YouTube. Heart it on Facebook. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> our own thing. And share it with all your friends. Do all the things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. This was super fun. I am going to just really dive into these now that I know Becky's process and tips and tricks for like blotting it. When you were saying to the finish it, yeah, let it dry for 24 hours. It looks like it's dry now, but it's not all the way. Let down. it dry for 24 hours and then finish it. That's a good tip. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Good deal. Anything else that you want to mention before we that's all sign off? No. Oh, if you're local, um we do open beating on Thursdays at yeah. 1 30. Becky will be here. I'll be here um that's tomorrow yeah so come on and hang out if you're not local we love hanging out with you guys virtually we're here wednesdays at 7 p.m central and yeah that's it thanks yeah <laughs> bye <laughs>